Welcome to Red's Effects Force Month, the same show that definitely shot first. You know what I'm talking about. Well guys, we're officially in our second day of Force Month, and I'm so excited to be back because we're tackling a laser blaster effect. Now, just like the lightsaber, this effect is going to be using the lightning and electricity plugin or effect in Headphone 4 Express. So totally free, 100% for everybody. Just follow the steps and let's check out a few requests. But just like last week, there are too many of you to mention, so I'll just put all your names on screen now. Now there's not much I would suggest for when you're shooting your footage because it's pretty standard but I would suggest doing some sort of recoil like when you're using a normal gun just to sell the effect better. Other than that, let's jump in Hitfilm 4 Express and I'll see you there. Here we are in Hitfilm, comp open, footage imported, mode, badass. Let's go. So first let's find the point at which we fire a laser. Here we go, now backtrack about 3 frames or so. Okay, now that's all set up, create a new plane. Change the color to black and call it Flare 1. You can also trim it to start at that point in the timeline. Now search for the light flares effect in the effects panel, drop it onto your plane. You can then change the blend mode of that plane to add as well. Scroll down the flare preset menu until you find flashlight LED and select it. You can now toy with the scale until it covers up the barrel of your blaster which for me is an old nerf ripoff gun. But hey, what can you do? There we go, now turn on keyframing for the hotspot position and go frame by frame adjusting it for as many frames as you need, usually till about 3 frames after the blaster has been fired. At this point trim your flare plane so that it ends at that point. Okie dokie. Let's now head back to the beginning of our flare layer and turn on keyframing for the intensity and set it to 0. Then move to when you fire the gun and set it to a high number, whatever works for your shot guys. Here looks about right for me. Then go to the end of the layer and set it back to 0. Ok, let's create flare 2 now. Create a black plane and call it flare 2. Then apply the light flares effect once again and set the blend mode to add. You can also trim the layer again while you add it to the same amount as our previous flare layer. Now change the preset to digital blocks. Again, you can customize the hell out of this guys, you don't even need to use this particular flare preset. Go wild and make whatever you want. But I like this one, so I'm gonna use it. Now adjust the settings once again to fit your battle. You can then turn on keyframing for the player's position at the beginning of your layer and go frame by frame once again doing the same sort of positioning work as our first flare. Ok, for the intensity we're going to do exactly the same work as our last flare, so I'll just go ahead and do that now. Ok guys, final step, create yet another black plane and call it laser, then set the blend mode of that plane to add. You can then move to when your flares are at their brightest and trim that layer to start at that point. Staying at that point, let's drop the lightning and electricity effect onto the plane. Now to change a few things, let's bring the wave and twitch scales all the way down as well as set the branch amount to 0. You can then set the start points width to about 5 and the end points width to 3. Turn on keyframing for the start and end points position as well. Then for the first frame we'll move the end point over the barrel or muzzle and the start point a bit out. Move forward a frame and then stretch those out a bit, like so. Move forward one more frame and move both the start and end points off screen. For one final touch, and this is optional, you can download the smoke element from my muzzle flash tutorial and drop it in when your laser fires. This just adds more impact to the shot, I didn't add it in the skit but as I said it's totally up to you. So load your blaster properly, oil it in all the right places, oh and follow those steps I just mentioned and you'll end up with something that goes a bit like this. Well there you have it guys, Force Month Day 2 already done. You can follow me on my social media over there, keep up to date with everything going on in my life, behind the scenes of the show, whatever it really comes out of this brain of mine, I just post it on there. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy your day, hope you enjoy this video as well, and I will see you next week.